push on your progression this year? Um, I had a slow start, obviously I had uh, COVID in January and it took a while to come. Um, another victory for you, how did it feel? Um, it's really nice, yeah, I had, a, I had a bit of a break from racing and I kind of missed the classics, which was a bit of a shame, but uh, I went away and did a good block of training, I think it's worked well for me so far. How do you judge your evolution, your progression this year? Um, I had a slow start, obviously I had uh, COVID in January and it took a while to come back from that really and uh, I've just been getting better all the time, which is nice. But how do you feel yourself improving as a young rider? How do you feel yourself gaining the confidence with this victory especially? Yeah, this is really nice. It's obviously only my second World Tour stage race after Paranese um, in my career. So uh, my first World Tour win and it's really nice. And tomorrow with a little jersey. How yeah. will you play in the team? <laughs> No. Um, I think tomorrow or the next couple of stages could be good for me if I'm still there in the finish. So uh, we'll try and see how it goes. And uh, as for Ineos, it's a victory at home because uh, Ineos is the owner of the Lausanne Sport. Yeah, there's a lot of guys here actually, and I think uh, G is doing a QA and a at the moment with a load of them. And uh, yeah, it's uh, good for the sponsors, I guess. Gerin Thomas told us that maybe he gave you too much advice. Is that true? <laughs> it's possible, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.